Good takers, welcome back to the first take. And the horror movies just keep on coming. It's like I've never real I've never known a summer season to have so many horror films dropping. We have another one called Creep. But Creep, Creep. I have not heard anything about this one, so let's jump into this trailer and see if it's any good. Let's get the volume up. Set a thousand dollars for the day. Filming services. Discretion is appreciated. The yellow door. I'm realizing that no one knows I'm here. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm assuming you're Aaron. Yeah, I'm Aaron. Joseph. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this fuck. is gonna be a good day. So the reason I've hired you is because I have terminal brain cancer and I want you to film me to make a video diary for my unborn son. You ready for this? Okay. Joseph! This is called an adventure. We don't know exactly where we're going, but I have a feeling. When you follow those feelings, great things can happen. Don't ever forget that. Joseph! <laughs> there was about two seconds there where it looked like you wanted to kill me. Joseph, I think I'm gonna head back. You see my keys? One drink, okay? Bottoms up. Why do you look scared? Don't be scared. It'll all be over soon. That looks pretty damn good. That looks pretty damn good. See, the thumbnail for this is deceiving. It made me think it was just some shitty, sloppy, just some bullshit, cheap horror flick. That looks like a lot of fun. That's an interesting twist. That sort of bromance aspect of just, you know, like single white females movie came back, came out back in the 90s when one person becomes way too obsessed with another. And the other one's like, yeah, okay, chill. Try to keep some at arm's length, but... They just want to consume you and be close to you, and it just turned insane. Like Mark Duplass, I like Mark Duplass. He has that intensity in his eyes. Like he's usually doing comedy movies, but he does have that look where he looks like he could switch. <laughs> and this movie seems to be taken full advantage of that. Yeah, that looks good. I like found footage. A lot of people complain about found footage movies. You know that. First person perspective with the camcorder. But I personally don't mind. It's just a technique. It's just one of many techniques that can be utilized and is exceptionally effective in horror films. You know, because it gives you that first person perspective of just being there. A lot of people complain about it. Maybe it gets overused, but I don't mind it, you know, because compared to the amount of movies made per year, there aren't really that many first person perspective movies made maybe one a year you know there'll be this there was project armor that was the last one before this this year can't really think of any others so i don't have hate for it but what about you guys do you you guys sick of the whole found footage first person perspective style of movies i personally don't mind it i liked it you know it was utilized well when um probably one of the films that did the best with it was uh that jj avon produced Found for is Cloverfield. That was a blank. Can't believe I forgot that. But I like the way that utilized first person perspective. 
and that whole found footage style, even though it kind of fell apart a bit at the end, after the brother died, and you think, why would the other brother bother to pick up the camcorder and keep going? Sometimes it can fall apart when you don't really know, when the filmmaker doesn't really have a, a specific plan, or they just don't stick to the rules. Especially in a, a perfect example of it all just falling apart. It was the Jake Gyllenhaal, what's it, first watch? The watch? End of watch. Especially a perfect example of this is the end of watch where they started with this concept and these rules and they were sticking to it. The POV of the cops through their perspective of their security cameras and their handheld cam cord and all that shit and then it just kind of fell apart they just abandoned it halfway and it just stopped making sense so if you do it you have to stick to it and know how you're going to end it logically um so i'm interested to see how this movie concludes it but it looks pretty good creep i will be checking for that should be pretty soon. What about you guys? Like I said, are you sick of the whole found footage thing? Or are you like me? Just don't mind it as long as it's done well. And as long as it logically makes sense. Let me know. Write your comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I made a Reese and this has been my first take to creep. I just want to be your friend. Please be my friend.